Hi everybody, it's Greg from FTI. Today we're going to show you what our transmissions go through before they get put in a box and shipped to you, whether it be a rebuild or a new transmission. The other thing we're going to demonstrate today is our pump around system. It's designed to take temperature out of a transmission while you're in the pit sitting still. We developed this system with Dennis Anderson, driver of the Grave Digger Monster Truck. Due to all the heat that the monster trucks make, they, they get abused quite a bit more than us bracket racers put them through. We took that technology, changed it around just a little bit, and brought it into the bracket racing world to help keep the temperature in the transmission steady. Now, the purpose behind this video is to show you that there are different pump systems available out there. Most pump systems simply pull fluid from the pan, cycle it through the cooler, and back is lubrication oil for the transmission. And at that point, the only fluid you're cooling is the fluid in the pan. We're gonna, with this demonstration, while we dyno this transmission, we're gonna show you that all the heat, most of your heat, is made inside the torque converter fluid shear, particularly at stall or under power going down the racetrack. We're gonna do some temperature intervals here, see what kind of time frame it takes to pull the temperature out of the transmission. So if you're double entered, late rounds, hot lapping, they're crying it's gonna rain, get it back to the lanes, we're going to show you how you can maintain your transmission temperature at a very manageable level by circulating the hottest fluid in the transmission out of the torque converter through your cooler and back with the engine shut off. Okay, this is our pump. This pump has Viton seals in it. It's designed to withstand 500 degrees of temperature. This pump you can mount down next to the oil pan in your dragster. You mount it on a frame rail in a door car. We simply got it zip tied to our dyno here for demonstration purposes and just have two lines made. Each of the system is going to have a, a line that comes out of the pan. That's where it's going to suck your fluid from. And then a bulkhead fitting going back into your case. This is where it's going to feed into the valve body to pressurize the torque converter and move all the fluid through the system. But again, this pump can be mounted virtually anywhere, somewhere along the level playing field of the, of the pan of the transmission. Okay, now we've already dynoed this transmission, uh, run it through the riggers, and we're going to do that again with you on this video. But for a baseline starting point of our temperature, this would be like fifth, sixth round in a race. This transmission is sitting 141 and a half degrees at the top of the case. Let's look at the torque converter. Torque converter is 146 degrees. This is probably be after a 20 minute cool down, say fourth, fifth round. Now, we're gonna fire it up, run it some more. We're gonna monitor our pressure. This monitors cooler, cooler pressure. This monitors main line pressure. Uh, we're gonna monitor all that. We're gonna put it on the trans brake for a substantial amount of time. Don't freak out. We don't really recommend you doing this at home. This is all for testing purposes to show you how well this cooler system works. Now we do do this to every transmission that goes out of here. We make sure that they, they make temperature, they make the pressure, the brake doesn't creep. It's gonna hold when you set the brake. Make sure it shifts good. There's no abnormal noises. These are all the, the things we test every time we dyno a transmission. We're just adding in the cooler circuit for you so that you can see how it works. Let's go ahead and get this thing running. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do before we crank it up, and this is the process of dyno and transmission, is we're gonna check and make sure that the gear selector works and all the gears, and we're gonna check and make sure that it has park. Just simply go in here, as you can see, it has park in both directions. We cycle it in and out and check it again. We wanna make sure you have park in your transmission. Now let's go ahead and get her running and let's see what we can do here. We check that on every one. We'll bring the RPM up a little bit and go to break. 
We're going to check this several times to make sure this thing does not move. As you can see, it does not move at all. We're going to bring the RPMs up, shift to the second gear. We're going to keep an eye on our converter charge pressure, our main line pressure. Everything's seeing right where we want it. Pressure very consistent from low gear to high gear. Let's check the pressure on the trans brake. As you can see, the pressure is still the same in all the gear ranges. That means internally the transmission is sealed up. Now let's start making some temperature checks. For sake of start now, we're going to start out at 148 degrees on case temperature. Torque converter is at 152. Now, I'm going to put on the trans brake and I'm going to show you how fast a torque converter can make heat. Thirty-six degrees in about six seconds of sitting on the trans brake. Now imagine you had a thousand horsepower instead of my little 305. What kind of temperature you would have? We'll go ahead and run this temperature up a little bit more, just like if you made a run, and then we're going to compare it over a period of time. I'm going to go ahead and shoot the case now as well. It's holding at 156. That should prove to you that the temperature inside these transmissions comes from none other than the torque converter. Let's go ahead and let's put some more heat in it and we'll show you how the pump around system takes the heat out of the unit. Notice we check the trans brake after it gets hot as well make sure that it's not ever going to back out in the late round. We're now at 168 degrees on top of the case. Let's check the converter. It's 239 degrees. Now, we're going to shut this off. We're going to turn on our pump around system. We're going to measure it at 30 seconds, and then we're going to measure it at one minute, then we're going to measure it at two minutes, and five minutes. Five minutes is a pretty quick hot lap in the late rounds. While we're making our five minute heat soak during between rounds and the late rounds, I'd like to take a second to explain to you why this is so important. Converter charge pressure affects the way your torque converter stalls, core multiplication, and the way the car leaves the starting line. Now, as fluid gets thinner, the pump pumps it easier, the converter is going to stall higher. You're going, how's that really going to affect me? What happens is your motor now, when it flashes off the trans brake, is going to start at a higher RPM. Therefore, if you do a curve of your car going down the racetrack, it would start at a higher RPM and finish at a higher RPM. This is what makes your car inconsistent. If you can control transmission temperature and keep it consistent, the car will be more consistent in the long run. Okay, we're going on about the four and a half minute mark. I wanted to start early because I wanted to be able to narrate this a little bit. I want to show you how it's equalized our temperature in the transmission and the converter. As you saw, it pulled all that temperature out in a hurry. And the reason why is it took the cold fluid from the cooler, rushed it right through into the, in, into the converter. That's what dropped the temperature. We have to make it stable across the board. We're going on, let's, we're probably right at five minutes now. Let's see where we're at right now compared to where we started. 161.8, and I believe I don't remember where we started, but somewhere around 160 degrees. Let's shoot the converter and see where it's at. One fifty-eight point nine. The other nice thing about this unit, this system, it's going to come as a system. It's going to have everything you need. You can install it at home with simple hand tools. You're going to need an eighth-inch pipe tap, a quarter-inch drill. That's about it. Simply pull the pan off the transmission. And it'll come with instructions on how to install it. We're also going to make a video on how to install this system. We install these here for our customers now. But it's, again, very simple to install. It's affordable. The money you're going to win to having a consistent race car more, will more than pay for the system. Okay, upon going back and further review of the temperatures that we recorded, we got it within 15 degrees of our original starting temperature in basically four and a half to five minutes. 
between rounds. That's really going to keep your car consistent. Uh, I'd like to take a second. Thank you for your time. I hope it help you, helps you understand where your heat's built in your transmission, how they work, plus what the transmission goes through here before it comes back to you. To let you know this was a unit that had come in to be rebuilt. We rebuilt this unit. Even on our rebuilds, we go through this kind of testing at no charge. This is all part of what we do to make sure that you have a dependable transmission to go win a race with. Thanks for choosing FTI.